Well, hi folks, here we are again. It's my fortnightly tour of the plot. So we're sort of in greenhouse at home, near home. And this last two weeks it's been absolutely sweltering, gorgeous sunny weather. And as you can see, my tomatoes are absolutely flying on. They're getting on for a good three foot tall now. And I've got some tomatoes set on me. Some of the marman, some of the uh, beef steaks. Everything's just perked up since it's warmed up. That's all we needed. All my chilies, they're all growing away really well now. Peppers, all different types. But like I said, my tomatoes, they look absolutely brilliant for me. But, you know, considering I planted them out that early, with a risk of frost. But like I say, I got away with it, so they're benefiting from that risk. And these are my giant onions that I'm putting to seed. Got some cracking heads on now, cracking seed heads. But there's an absolute shortage of bumblebees to pollinate them. So unless the bumblebees turn up, I'm going to have to try and pollinate them by hand. But as long as we get some little blowflies in, sorry, hoverflies and things like that. But I've not seen a bumblebee this year, and that's what you need. Just one of those, and one of them will pollinate the whole lot in a day. It'll just go round every flower. So anyway, that's my greenhouse at home. As of now, as of about the 6th or 7th of June. And I couldn't be happier. No complaints whatsoever. So we'll just nip up to the plot now. So that's about it in here. Well, hi folks. Just time for me sort of fortnightly plot update I've just been to my greenhouse so now we're up at the plot just finished work Saturday afternoon 6 o'clock sun's absolutely shining brightly so we'll just give you a bit of an update the peas that I grew that I've had a lot of problems with this year finally they're up and growing they're a bit patchy and a bit thin but you can only do with what you've got so not the best they're the leeks I transplanted last night I did a video of those so they should be alright now there's not a lot you need to do with those once they're in and start growing, you just leave them, they don't have many pests apart from the odd bit of rust and stuff. There are my brassicas, the little um, Achilles broccoli and some greyhound. Growing away nicely now. Lettuces are doing alright, just about ready to pick some now. Another week or two maybe they'll be alright. And I've sown a second lot of seeds under there, direct sown this time, because it's now obviously warm enough. Shallots from seed, two rows in there, they're growing away now. Beetroot have really picked up now in this sort of week of absolutely glorious sunshine we've had. And the carrots, looking alright now. A bit, they're a bit patchy where the old slugs got them in that last bit, but apart from that, the ones that are growing are doing well. And these are my leeks, not my leeks, my garlic, sorry. Seem to be loving the sunshine, so getting really tall now. Some of the tall, some of the bigger ones in the middle are getting off about 18 inches tall, so... They were from a giant variety that Tony sent me, so we'll see how big they get by about July up to uh, August. Potatoes, absolutely flying now. Once they start putting leaves on, I'll just keep topping them up, and they're absolutely brimming the pots now. So just about earthed up to the top of the pots. Got loads in now, and they're all doing well. The only slow ones are these uh, pink fir apples, but they're like a really late cropper anyway, so... They're doing all right so far. Getting a bit low on water now because it's not rained for about two weeks, three weeks. But I'm not wishing for rain this this year because I did last year. And we know we all know what happened. So anyway, we're going to the polytunnel now. It's been that hot. I've had to start fleece putting fleece in to, to shade it and some shade netting and some shade netting on the outside because the onions were just getting scorched. But well, if you have a look at the onions, they're absolutely humongous now. Massive. <laughs> so, and these are some potatoes inside, same thing, they're about, I would say, I'm going to leave them another 10 days to 2 weeks because the flowers have just opened. I don't want to rush it and empty them now and have a disappointing crop, so I'd rather have the odd big one than a load of little ones and waste them, but like I say, they're absolutely flying in big pots, watering them like nobody's business as well. Courgettes and stuff, that's a courgette in a pot. They're all growing now and the squashes, now it's warmed up, they just love the warm weather. Cucumbers are just starting to grow slowly. French beans now are climbing up the poles. It's like anything, they are a sort of tropicalish plant and they just love the warmth, so they've really benefited from it. And the strawberries, absolutely bonkers these. And if you look there, look, we've got, we've got our first ripe strawberry of the year, June the 8th. So there you go, little Aldi plant, 6 for 150. Uh, what have we got now? These are my uh, onion sets, my big onion sets that I grew myself last year and I've just tried and they're doing really well. They're starting to bulb up now. 
and this is the big boy, this is the big onion, I've put a beer bottle down to give you a bit of size but the leaves now are getting up to three feet tall, just, this just keep going up and up and up and massive so I'm hoping for big things from this thing this thing, this chap same with the carrots, they're just absolutely flying along now in this warmth humongous leaves, I mean they look like they're ready to pull now on this. I'm only doing them for showing, look at the size you know like 12 inch leaves on them so just everything with this warm weather just absolutely flying along same thing with my long carrots in the barrels they're getting big now loads of tops on them excuse me but the onions I'm really happy with the onions now and they should just start to be bulbing up now once we get towards the middle of June, uh, of June they start to bulb and then the bulbs form and then it's then it really gets exciting because they just seem to grow in front of your eyes so like I say again loads and loads of onions just give you a check on the temperature how hot it's been today it's maxed out at 39 degrees C in here that's with all the doors wide open and the shade up so there's nothing you can do really to keep the heat down that's all I can do so that's my onions so that's the polytunnel really just dip outside it's a bit breezy so the mic might get a bit funny <coughs> And finally, my first poppies have come out now. Just a couple of them. But one thing that I'm really worried about this year, there's been no bumblebees whatsoever yet. Not seen a single one. And as soon as these open, they're usually just covered in them. Because I have a really good show of these. I've got absolutely loads of these poppies. I've got loads over here. Look at, look at all those ready to come out. It's an unbelievable sight when they all do come out. And it's usually just absolutely swamped with bumblebees when they do come out. But... I don't know what's going on this year. There has been a lot of worry about the fact that bees are dying out and well it just goes to show you, I mean I've never I haven't seen one at all this year. So anyway these are my shallots for show, which I well I eat anyway, I just use a few to show and all the rejects I eat. So and they're all nicely split now into the fours. Uh, my show potatoes are finally starting to grow now. They're way behind last year but there's no rush with those, they only need to be ready by September. But my oyster catchers are going bonkers. I'll just go into my little carrot and parsnip shelter. Oh, I'll show you how they're going. They're absolutely flying as well with this warmth. It's bigger than, you know, bigger than they were last year at this time, so I'm really happy with those. Absolutely flying along. Nice and breezy in here, but it keeps the warmth in, it keeps the, the strong winds out. The long carrots inside this, well, it's still outside, but. Uh, like I say, they don't grow as well outside, obviously. They just like a bit more warmth. So that's my little carrot. Oh, exhibition carrot bit. On the same thing with the bumblebees. All my chive flowers are out now, and they're usually absolutely all over these as well, the bumblebees. But this year, like I said, not seen a single one. Not a single one yet. And these, these should be absolutely swarming with bees. So it's getting a bit worrying. So I'll just going to the next bit. Straight into the sun, I don't know what it'll look like. That's the kale I planted, that's sort of still growing well. Could do with a bit of rain, but never mind. You can't have everything, can you? Lettuces again, all doing well. Onions, they're all bulbing up now. These are the just the onion sets for eating. You know, they're doing alright. Doing alright. And then these are the shallots, not the shallots, getting all my words mixed up today. This is my garlic, another load of garlic. And finally the overwintering onions, overwintered ones, which are just a little bit ahead of the the ones that I planted earlier this spring. And finally, this is where I grew my pumpkins last year, I grew them in these big pits I dug. But what I'm growing in these instead this year is some of the world's biggest potatoes, they're called uh, condor. And one grew to about £11 the other year, so I just thought I'd give it a go. You know, I'm not growing pumpkins anymore because they just don't grow in our climate very well not up here anyway so we'll see how they get on and where I grew my pumpkins I've just turned it into like a wild flower bit just chuck loads of flowers all over the place so we'll see what comes up oh yeah and finally on the showing thing this is the daft thing I love doing growing giant marrows and I've got two in and that's one of them I only planted it a week ago and it only had two leaves on and it's it's grown about two feet in length so 
I've got big things, big hopes for this thing. You see it's under a big cloth, like a mini greenhouse, just loving the warmth. So that's about it, 8th of June. Things doing all right, cracking sunshine, brilliant weather. Just hope, it's, hope it continues. We'll just finish in with a nice clear blue view of Ingleborough and all the bloody traffic going past, ruining it. So that's about it, folks. See you later.